So the National Mango Board reached out to me because they are trying to spread the message on how amazing and delicious mangoes are. And I was like, what? Don't people already know how amazing and delicious mangoes are? And most people do, but apparently some people are still intimidated by mangoes and they wanted my help to help spread the message. And so I was like, uh, yes, of course I will spread the mango love. Mangoes are one of my favorite fruits. So today I'm gonna show you how to pick choose and cut a mango and turn it into a delicious mango raspberry coconut sorbet. Oh my goodness, you guys, this sorbet is incredible. It's creamy, tangy, sweet, and you don't need an ice cream machine. It's so simple to make. All you need is a food processor or a blender and a freezer. That's it. Are you ready? So just like apples, mangoes have many different varieties. For example, there's the Tommy Atkins, there's the honey mango, and these look pretty darn different. Now, when you're telling if a mango is ripe, color really doesn't have anything to do with it. You go off of feel, sort of like you would an avocado, and if it gives a little bit, then it's good to go. So for the honey mango, you can go by feel to tell the ripeness, but you're actually supposed to go by the wrinkles. So this mango right here is smooth and beautiful and looks perfectly ripe, but it's actually not. This mango here looks wrinkly and old and kind of overripe, but this is actually perfect. I know this looks a little bit weird, but trust me, these ones are ready to be eaten and you need to give these ones a few more days. All right, so when you're cutting a mango, you'll notice that the mango isn't actually circular. It's kind of like a bean shape. Now the pit on the inside sits like this. Really what you're gonna do is when you cut this mango, you're gonna cut a quarter inch from the center, one on one side, and then same thing on the other side. So we're cutting around the pit. We have the two main pieces of mango right here, which are called the cheeks. And then we have our mango pit, which pretty much has very little mango meat left on it. Um, but really we're gonna be working with the cheeks today because this is where most of the mango meat is. So now what we're gonna do is if you want to slice your mango, you just hold it down against the cutting board and run your knife through it like this into slices without cutting through the skin. If you cut through that skin, your life, it's gonna make your life so much harder than it needs to be. So just be really gentle and don't cut through the skin. And then you just take a spoon with sort of a thin edge and just scoop it out like this and ta-da, you have slices of mango. Now if you're gonna dice it like we're doing today, you do the same thing. You're gonna slice it, but then just turn it around and dice it and then scoop it out. The last way you can cut a mango is pretty much dice it up, but then instead of scooping it out, you can actually flip it inside out like that. Mm. This honey mango is perfectly ripe. It's sweet, a little bit tart, it's juicy. It just melts in your mouth. Okay, I need to stop eating. I'm gonna finish cutting my mangoes and then I'll move on to the next step. For this recipe, we're gonna need five cups of mangoes. All right, so our mangoes go on a baking sheet with some parchment paper. You really just wanna make sure it's in an even layer. So now we're gonna pop these in the freezer for about eight hours or overnight, and I already have some that I froze beforehand so we can get working on this sorbet right away. So the ones I put in last night are completely frozen. They are rock hard. See, they're kind of stuck together a little bit, but that's totally fine. Now, once they're frozen, you can put them in an airtight container and keep them in the freezer for about six months if you want to, but they never last long in my house because my sister loves frozen fruit and she eats it by the bowl full. She loves it. But these frozen mangoes, thankfully, are going into our sorbet, not into my sister's mouth. I'm just kind of moving around the parchment paper and peeling off the mangoes so that it's way easier to pour into my food processor. Now we have one 13 ounce can or 13 and a half ounce can of coconut milk. You've got the coconut fat on the top and underneath you've got that coconut water. And we're gonna dump it all in. Next up, we're gonna add in a teaspoon of lemon juice, a half a teaspoon of lemon zest, a pinch of salt, a half teaspoon of vanilla, three quarters a cup of sugar, and last but not least, a half cup of almond milk. And we are gonna make sure this is completely smooth. So now, for a little bit of color, we're gonna add in some raspberries. So here I have over, a little bit over a cup of frozen raspberries. We're gonna add in almost all of them into this food processor right now. Now if you want to, you can totally just puree this until it's a really pretty pink color, but what I like to do is just pulse it in so it adds some chunk of raspberry stove for texture, but it also sort of swirls the pink in there and I think it makes it really, really pretty. Here we have a nine by 11 baking dish. And what we're gonna do is pour our sorbet into the dish. 
And you can see those little specks of raspberry and the little bits of texture that it's adding. We're gonna add even more color by sprinkling some of the raspberries right on top. So this guy is gonna go in the freezer for about five hours until it is frozen. And the hardest part about this entire recipe is waiting, but trust me, it'll be worth it. All right guys, our sorbet is done. Look at that, you've got that beautiful yellow and the pop of reddish pink from the raspberries. I'm so ready to taste it. This is so beautiful, but it can be even more beautiful if we top it with a few bits of frozen raspberries. So I'm just gonna add a little on top. All right, get a bite with some raspberries in it. Look at that. Mmm. Yes, this is incredible. Those mangoes add an amazing sweetness, but it also just helps make it so creamy and luxurious. We've got that tart raspberry, the coconut, adds like this heavenly sort of tropical flair. Mm. This is the type of thing that once you make once, you'll be addicted and make it again and again and again because it's so delicious. And the nice thing is, Mangoes are actually good for you. They have vitamin A, vitamin C, and fiber. So it's a whole win-win situation. It's perfect. Also, if you guys just want more mango information in general, you can go to mango.org. They've got a bunch of nutrition tips. They've got storing hacks, all these little videos and step-by-step -step instructions so that you can nail your mango cooking. And don't forget to grab yourself some mangoes because they're amazing and heavenly and delicious and I love them so, so much. All right, I will see you guys next time and I am gonna go eat some more sorbet. Bye.